Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can sync your audio and your video together in post. So if you recorded your audio separately, I'm gonna show you how to sync it with your video so that you get nice, clean, crispy audio regardless of your situation. And I'll explain to you why you might wanna do this in a couple of different situations. So let's go ahead and uh, get some clean uh, audio and video and uh, sync them together. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm out here now recording and I have my GoPro Hero 11 Black, which is fantastic. However, the camera alone does not have a mic input. You have to get a media mod in order to plug in a microphone. Right now, I don't have my media mod. I just have the GoPro hooked up and I'm shooting alone with the built-in microphones. However, underneath my shirt here, I have a DJI wireless mic that's recording. So now I can go ahead and sync up the audio in post and change it over and now we can hear this. Now we have nice clean audio. There's probably not any wind or anything. There's a little breeze going right now so I'm not sure how much the GoPro was picking it up but what you're hearing right now is the audio coming from the DJI wireless microphone so now if you don't have an external microphone like this and you just uh and you just have say like uh let's say you just have your iphone well you can use the memo app on here the voice memo app on here to record your audio separately and then you can go ahead and sync it up in post let me show you quickly how to record some audio on here and what it's gonna sound like, and then we'll jump inside to the, uh, to the apps, and I'll show you how you can actually do the sync. All right, so I'm on my iPhone here, and let's go ahead and get the Voice Memo app opened up. And if you don't know where it is, just go ahead and swipe down on your screen, and then go ahead and search for uh, voice. And usually when you do voice, it shows up as Record Voice Memo app. You'll see right there, we'll click that, and now we have the voice memo app opened up and we can hit the red button to start recording. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have the voice memo app open and I'm recording with it right now. And one reason why you might wanna do something like this is, for instance, let's say you have your GoPro or any other camera for that matter and you wanna move away from it a little bit. Well, you can, you can go ahead now and move back and move completely away from your camera so you put some distance between you and it and you can then show the scene if that's what you wanna do or just be further away from your camera. And now you can have nice clean audio with your video because you're gonna sync them up in post. So it's really a nice feature to have. It allows you to use your iPhone basically as a handheld microphone that records at the same time. So yeah, all right. Now there is a little bit of wind out here, so I don't know how much the wind is going to affect the audio on this iPhone right now. If it does, well, then this is something to take into consideration. You'll have to put some, uh, you know, a little furry dead, uh, dead cat over your microphones or something right there, or use a different type of microphone that has a dead cat. But all right, let's go back inside now and uh, show you how you can sync up this audio with the video. All right, well, we're back inside here and I have my computer set up. Let me show you how to transfer the files over your computer so that we can sync them up. First, if you're using something like the DJI wireless mic, you just simply plug in your USB-C cable from your transmitter to your computer and then drag the files over onto your, uh, onto your uh, desktop or wherever you wanna save them so that you can use them later. Now, for the iPhone, I'm gonna show you how to use this uh, doing AirDrop. So we're simply gonna go ahead and go into the voice memo section and we'll see where it says all recordings. We're gonna click that and now we're just gonna tap it and the little, uh, the little circle with the three dots in there, we're gonna click that right there and we're gonna click on share. And now we're gonna go ahead and choose my MacBook Pro right there. So we'll click that there. And this is going to start sending it over to my, um, sending it over to my MacBook and it says waiting and now it's done. And we can see here on my MacBook that it is now opened up. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the file right there and just drag it into the folder that I had set up for this. So 
Um, we can see there, now we have the separate audio file over here in my folder. So now, all we need to do is just go ahead and drag all of my video files into this folder and we can start syncing stuff up. So I went ahead and set my project up in Final Cut Pro here. So I'm gonna show you how to sync in Final Cut Pro first. And we can see here, this is the project. Now I like to separate everything, separate everything out in folders. So um, I have my audio here, I have my, uh, my unsynced files here, and then these are just my other everyday project files there, my other uh, assets. So um, the first thing I wanna do is just simply, I, I know for a fact that I need the first, uh, this first Go profile here, this one here is, uh, is going to be one that I recorded with the DJI wireless mic here. So now what I can do to sync it is simply grab the, uh, I'll grab the, um, I'll grab the audio from there. So let me just grab, uh, let me grab here. Let me look for the audio and well, there's the video first. And then let me find the audio file for it. I think it might be up above. And let's see, where is it at? It is going to be right here, DJI. So we'll click those two together. So just click Command and, uh, and then click them so that they're both highlighted. And now I'm just gonna right click on here on either one of those files and you'll see where it says Synchronize Clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Synchronize Clips. And now I can rename this uh, whatever I want or I can leave it as the original file name dash synchronize clip. I'll click OK. And it's gonna start running through the process and it's pretty much just that easy. Now what happens when I drag the synchronized version of this down onto my, uh, onto my timeline here, you're gonna see there's black areas where before there's video showing up. And now you'll see the video show up here and there you have it. So now you have this, um, now you have your audio and your video that are all synced up. And let me show you quickly on the uh, other one. We'll just do one more here. Um, and if you wanna get rid of all that stuff, let me just go back to the beginning there. If you wanna get rid of all that stuff, you can just come through and wherever that is, just hit your blade tool and clip off the, uh, clip off the tip and you can come to where it ends and you can hit the blade tool again, click uh, hit, uh, hit the tail and delete that. And now you have uh, just the part that has the clean audio. All right, now I'm gonna do this again here. We know that I recorded a voice memo and I recorded, um, and I recorded this separate uh, GoPro uh, file here. So there's the GoPro one. And then here is the other audio file from my iPhone called separate audio. I'm gonna click that. Again, we're gonna do command and then click so that, we, uh, so that we have them both highlighted individually there, not everything else in between. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and right click on either of the files and I'm gonna choose synchronize clips. So we'll hit that and we'll see there, it's gonna say use, you have the options of use audio for synchronization, disable audio components on AV clips and, uh, and audio and video set based on common clip properties. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. And there we go. And just like that, we now have the second GoPro audio um, file synchronized and I can drag this down and we can see there we have, uh, we have just a little bit beforehand, but then we have the audio synced up right there and we have the whole thing going. So, all right, that's how you do it and Final Cut Pro. It's really, really easy, but let me show you one other way that you can do this with a standalone app that's fantastic, especially if you have a lot of files and you wanna do this quickly without having to go through and find the individual uh, audio files that match the individual uh, video files. Let me just show you a quick way to do this. All right, let me show you here the app that I use when I wanna sync multiple files together at once. And we have uh, Pluralize 4 is the name. And so let's open that up, or it's Pluralize when I'm on version four here. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my audio and I'll grab the DJI mic since I had that running the entire time. And then I will grab my video files. So I have two audio, two video files there. I'll grab that, drag it over, and it's that simple. Now I just simply hit synchronize, and boom, that's it. Super quick, super easy, 
and everything is synced up. Now, if I wanna export this, I can export it in different ways. I can actually choose to have new video files with uh, the synchronized audio replaced, uh, replacing the old audio. I can replace, I can export just simply audio files. I can export just uh, Final Cut Pro X files, or I can, uh, or excuse me, Final Cut Pro uh, XML file or a Premiere Pro project file. So um, I'm gonna choose just the video files here, and then I'm gonna choose export. And we can see there it's exporting out. And as soon as it exports out, it will open up in, uh, in let me see the video files. And here are the video files right here, and you can always change where these are exported out to, um, but that's it. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Pluralize 4 is, pro or Pluralize in general is probably my favorite app for syncing audio. There are some other ones. This is not a free app, um, so if, you, uh, if you're looking for something free, there are some others out there. I haven't tried them yet, but I love this one because if you're out shooting, you could be out shooting for an entire day and have your audio recorder going for the entire day and literally all you have to do is just drag that audio file or audio files and all your video files into Pluralize, just hit synchronize and Pluralize sorts it all out. It does everything for you and sorts it all out and synchronizes everything and then you can actually just go ahead and export new video file so you only have the video file with the replaced audio and it, it clips off the tip and the tail so you don't have to worry about anything else. So it's very, very nice and it's a fantastic app. So anyways, there you go. That's how you can synchronize your, uh, your separately recorded audio using Final Cut Pro or a standalone app in, uh, and pluralize and some of the reasons why you might wanna do it. So yeah, anyways, I'll leave links to everything down below in the video description so that you can check them out. I'll also leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.